Hello YouTubers and YouTuberettes, this will be a long video. I've appeared in a lot of movies, a lot of TV movies, and a lot of uh, TV episodes of uh, everything from sitcoms and one-hour dramas and so on, and plus some commercials, but I won't be uh, showing anything from commercials, I don't believe, in this uh, particular video. What I will do is show you some of the movies I've been in, uh, some still pictures from the movies. I won't be showing any actual video. And since I've had more than 800 jobs in front of camera, uh, there's no way of showing them all. Um, I have been in more than 100 feature films, more than 80 TV movies, more than 145 different TV programs, plus the commercials and other things. But uh, I'll begin somewhere, so we'll begin with Melvin and Howard. Uh, the reason I'm beginning here, this is a motion picture. It was released in 1979. The rest of the things I will show you are from the 1980s and later. And uh, Melvin and Howard was a good movie. I had a kissing scene in that. It kissed Mary Steenburgen, and she won the Academy Award uh, that year for, I believe, it was Best Supporting Actress. It might have been Best Actress, but I think it was Best Supporting Actress. And so that was a good way to start the career, although I had worked other uh, movies prior to that. Next I'll show the Naked Gun series. I, I worked only in Naked Gun, the first of the Naked Gun movies. Just one scene where I'm standing with uh, Leslie Nielsen as we're watching his burning car uh, disappear in the distance. And next I'll show you Airplane 2, very funny movie. and. I was uh, in the hospital scene in that on both sides of the room. I'm a person who's having his uh, fluids checked, I guess, with a dipstick on one side of the room. The other side of the room, I'm getting ready to shoot myself as Robert Hayes uh, continues telling his long, boring story. Reds was a movie that uh, featured or starred Warren Beatty, and I was in some scenes with Warren Beatty. We were supposedly in a barn having a union meeting and a bunch of uh, goons show up who don't want us to start up a union. And uh, I'm on uh, both sides of Warren Beatty there. That was a fun movie for me. I got to talk with uh, Warren Beatty a lot of times during that movie. We talked on when he first did the uh, interview where he came into the stage about 70 people standing around he came up to me first and the reason being I was the tallest and he started talking with me asked if I was available certain days and so on so it was nice to work on that show most shows in Hollywood are quite enjoyable to work on as uh, was this one with uh, Pee Wee Herman Paul Rubens um, I had a close-up in that movie and it's a good movie I'd recommend it. it's good for family too. Psycho Two. I worked as a grave digger. I'm on the upper right in the still picture. Yep, uh, I should say the upper right grave digger, the tallest grave digger in the grave digging scene in Psycho 2. And, uh, it was nice to work with Tony Perkins. He's a very pleasant man and he did uh, take time out as the Universal Tram. We were working at Universal Studios and the Universal Tour Tram came up and it stopped because there was a movie production going on as soon as the scene was finished uh, Tony Perkins went over and signed autographs for the people who were in the tram so he and, and he was nice he, he talked to me he talked with everyone he was just a nice person to work with this one history of the world part one was the first time I worked with Mel Brooks very funny man and I was a senator climbing up the stairs at the, in Rome in the Roman scene uh, in history of the world part one and in history, uh, not history of the world, part two, but uh, to be or not to be with uh, Mel Brooks and Anne Bancroft. I was a Nazi soldier enjoying a show that's being put on in the movie, and we don't know what's really going on. And it was always good to work a Mel Brooks movie. He he was just a very funny person. His mind just kept on going, never stopped for a minute. Grease 2 was a delightful movie to work. I was the bowling alley manager in Grease 2. 
is Maxwell Caulfield and uh, Michelle Pfeiffer. And it was fun working with them. They were very nice people, as uh, were all the people who worked in the cast of Grease 2. And Patricia Birch, the director of Grease 2, is very, very pleasant to work with. Here's a movie that I worked as a favor. You say, I mean, I got paid for it all, but uh, I was sitting at home, got a call from someone, and one of my old friends from Dear John, this was after Dear John had finished, after 1992, not sure the exact year, but 1990s. Who's Your Daddy is the name of the movie. And I got a call that um, one of the people who had worked on Dear John, Bob Ellison, wanted me to work in the movie Who's Your Daddy. I was a person with a dog on a leash in that movie, early in the movie, right during the title credits. And Kiss Kiss Bang Bang, about 2005, I believe, is when I worked on this one. This is with uh, Val Kilmer and... Uh, who else? Uh, Val Kilmer and uh, Robert Downey Jr., of course. And I was Abe Lincoln in that. Late in the movie, you'll see Abe Lincoln enter a hospital room, and that is I. That is me. That is myself as Abe Lincoln. Uncommon Valor. I was a military officer in Uncommon Valor in one scene uh, toward the top middle in the picture. Bug Buster, a fun spoof of a, I guess a monster movie, sci-fi movie, whatever, with Randy Quaid. I did not ever see Randy Quaid, but I worked the movie with him. I was in the band. I'm the person on the right playing the keyboard in the still picture. And the band was called Trailer Park Trash. And it was a lot of fun working on that. Very hot day. When we did that scene, it was at least... Uh, 102 outside, at least that hot outside, much hotter inside because we had to turn off the air conditioning when we did the scene and had bright lights going. This is Deal of the Century. This is Chevy Chase. And uh, I was a colonel in this movie. I have a couple still pictures of me as a colonel from Deal of the Century. The one of me sitting at a desk on the right is near the beginning of the movie. Heartbreak Ridge. I worked it, but you barely see me, and my left shoulder appears in one scene as Clint Eastwood gets on the bus, but my car, Yellow Blur, the Rambler, the yellow uh, Rambler there behind Clint Eastwood, that's my car. My car got me a lot of work. 1969 Rambler with two mirrors on the um, front fenders. In fact, uh, that same uh, car appeared in Pee Wee's Big Adventure. I worked five different movies with Chevy Chase. Uh, Vacation 1, Vacation 2, Fletch, Under the Rainbow, and Deal of the Century. And so show me way far on the right toward the top in Vacation. I never did find myself in Vacation 2, but I, I did work it. And uh, there's... Fletch, but I also have not found myself in the DVD version of Fletch. I used to, I, I know the first time I saw the movie, I saw myself in the movie on the big screen, but uh, that scene might have been cut. And it was the scene where Fletch is interrupting a group of people who are presenting an award to somebody, and he tells everybody to uh, be nice to the police. And I'm in that scene somewhere, but I don't know where. This is Twilight Zone, the movie, the movie uh, during the filming of which uh, Vic Morrow and two child actors were killed. And I worked with Vic Morrow in some scenes, and uh, I'm in the blue uh, checkerboard shirt, and there's burning stuff all around there. It's, uh, that's the uh, scene where Vic Morrow was in that sequence, and then also I appeared in the airplane sequence of Twilight Zone where the monsters on the wing of the airplane. Monsters Revenge, not a very good movie. It was nice to work with uh, Fred Gwynn and um, the cast of the monsters. Um, the guest star in the movie was Sid Caesar. is good to work with him. But the movie just somehow did, it just never did get to be very funny. 
but I was in it, and this is a pretty good movie that just disappeared, Crossroads with Ralph Macchio, and I'm on the right-hand side in this scene where the bartender's holding a shotgun it's right after he shoots the gun into the air to get people's attention, and I would recommend that movie if you have not seen it. And we'll uh, look at some other movies here. Here I am on the back lot of Universal, New York Street, 1930s. I was a gangster. I was a hitman there. This is a program called Gangster Chronicles. It was a TV miniseries. It's a good show if you can find it. Next we go to the Queen Mary in Long Beach. This is how I looked when I worked on a show called Goliath Awaits with Christopher Lee. There I am in the background on the right. I even uh, stood in for Christopher Lee, who is a tall man couple of uh, scenes from Goliath Awaits. He was a nice person, and Goliath Awaits is a good show, if you can find it. Here I am on Greatest American Hero. I'm in the red bandana shooting at Robert Culp, who is one of the stars of the show. There's a close-up. And that was a show that uh, was very popular for a short period of time, TV program, Greatest American Hero. And I do believe DVDs are available of that show. This is me on Hinkus Pincus, H-I-N-C-U-S-P-I-N-C-U-S. Hinkus Pincus was a cable TV comedy show about a talent scout who had the world's worst talent available, and I was one of the world's worst Elvis impersonators, and it was a fun show to work. The Burbank Studios in Burbank, of course, is where Dukes of Hazard was filmed. This was part of the area where they did their uh, racing about for Dukes of Hazard. And in this scene, I am arresting Uncle Jesse of Dukes of Hazard. I am the deputy on the right. It was always a fun show to work. Denver Pyle played the part of Uncle Jesse, and uh, there was always a lot of action and lots of laughs when I worked. Dukes of Hazard back in the 1980s. Robin Williams on the right, Pam Dauber on the left. I'm in the middle as Abe Lincoln. This is Mork and Mindy, of course. And not seen is Jonathan Winters. Jonathan Winters worked on Mork and Mindy, and he was a very, very funny man. I was fortunate to work with him several times. The back lot of Universal. Here we find the Studebaker dealership for Back to the Future. I worked in the original Back to the Future movie, but none of the sequels. This is me in uniform one more time. I'm a deputy on a show called Blue Thunder, which was a helicopter TV series. Again in uniform, I'm a naval officer, and the show is called Emerald Point NAS. NAS met Naval Air Station. Dennis Weaver was the star. I really enjoyed working on Pennies from Heaven. Here I am with Vernell Bagneris. I'm on the right, Vernell Bagneris is on the left. He sang the title tune. It for the diner scene of Pennies from Heaven. Had about 10 days work on that show. That was a good show. I'm a police officer here. That's Brad Dorf, who was Billy in the movie One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, and he really did a great job on that movie, but I'm working here with him in a show called I Desire, and also known as Desire the Vampire. This is Robert Mitchum, seen from Winds of War. I'm dancing in the background. And I'm dancing with Bernice Jansen, who is the mother of David Jansen, who is the star of the TV series The Fugitive. Winds of War is a great miniseries, and I think you might be able to watch it at YouTube. I'm the Elk Man here. The TV movie was called Fugitive from the Empire, The Archer Strikes Back, also known as The Archer. And this was uh, filmed at Magic Mountain, early 1980s. Here I am with uh, 14 other people. We were the singers and dancers. I finally made it as a chorus boy. We were the opening act for the 1988-1989 People's Choice Awards program. There were a lot of celebrities in the audience, like Oprah and Kirk Douglas and uh, Rob Lowe and others. Here I am on the gong show. This act was called Men Without Pants. Uh, I got to do a song for that. That was uh, one I had written. And here I am uh, doing my first gong show appearance as Herman Schmerdley. I did a total of 13 gong shows plus the pilot. Here I am on Dear John playing piano with the cast. 
Dear John aired on NBC TV from 1988 to 1992, and I was fortunate enough to be in every episode, all 90 episodes plus the pilot. And we filmed at Paramount. The cast was wonderful. I enjoyed every minute that I spent on that show. The crew was fabulous. The production team, the directors, and the writers, everyone just made that show a real pleasure, a joy to work. And I hope you've enjoyed watching this video that shows some of the many TV shows and movies in which I've been fortunate enough to appear. Thank you very much for watching.